one of my new hard drives I actually broke where you've got the, um, the actual SATA connection okay normally that would just clip in nicely like that now what I did I had a right angled connector on there and while I was mucking around with it I pulled the cable directly straight this way and it snapped off that bit of plastic that's on the contactors and if you can see that bit of plastic there okay that's a good one here's the one that broke okay you can see maybe all I've got left is just the, the contacts without the plastic support so I can't really plug this in but I don't give up either so what I'm going to do is I've got some super glue I'm just going to get a cable bend them the right way so they make contact and then just glue this cable in and it'll always be part of that hard drive it won't be reliable but at least I can still use it for something. Alright, so just so I know which way is which. Okay, so it would clip there. So these pins have to make good contact this way. So I'm going to bend them up. So when I put this in, <laughs> it should make good contact. That's the plan. I doubt there's too many bends left in these, so I don't want to get too much. And oh shit, we got super glue. So and I've glued myself. Fucking hell. <laughs> take to dry these days. How long super glue take to bloody dry? Should have thought of this before. And I just thought of it now. I'll leave that be for the night and see how it looks in the morning. Okay, it's the morning now, so that's had all night to set. And it looks, at a glance, like it's, it's holding in place. I mean, I wouldn't put too much pressure on that, but uh, it's probably going to get me out of trouble, if it works, of course. So I managed to put glue on most sides of the connector, and it seems to be holding in place. I might put a few more drops on and let that set today while I'm doing other things, just to give it a bit more rigidity. Now many times I've got comments saying that I hit the enter key too hard and that I'll break the keyboards. Well, I broke the hard drive, that's a fair call. I did that myself by being heavy fisted. But um, the MacBook's got a problem. I'm having a hell of a week here. The MacBook uh, backlight has died, not the enter key, okay? Right, so the MacBook is on. The brightness is, well, it doesn't really matter what the brightness is because the backlight's dead. But if I zoom right in and turn this... <laughs> light on the camera just shine really brightly at it you can see that the screen is actually live now i've been using a torch to see just enough stuff to get me by but the backlight is definitely dead even though the laptop's working the macbook's under warranty so i could take it to some apple place which i found out they like to call themselves genius which i just know it's going to be hell i've never had to deal with apple and i don't want to but i shall do it okay it's show time i'm going to put the uh hard drive very carefully in here. I've just disconnected the other two very carefully now that I'm, you know, paranoid. Just using this as a bit of a test. Uh, that's all. Now Proxmox won't like this initially because I've got these drives set up in FS tab and they're not there, so it'll it'll freeze on the boot, but I'll sort that out. If you're interested, this is what I expected to see the error because uh, those two hard drives aren't there at the moment and it's looking for them. So once it gets over that, I'll go in there and just comment them out and then reboot it and see if it's found this. But it's spun up, so I think it's good. Right, the good news is it works. Okay, I've booted it up, I've mounted it, and uh, you can read the files there, so it's all in order. So the good news is I've saved the disk. Uh, the bad news is it's just a little bit more fragile than a normal one, so I'll have to be careful. But 
If I mount it in there and it doesn't move and it's not going anywhere, there's no pressure on that cable, it should be right. So at least I haven't lost a brand new eight terabyte drive.